Hey everyone, yeah, it's just a quick little update to let you know, to show you what I've been working on. Uh, I resigned from my full-time job today, and uh, this is a little project that I knocked together very, very quickly for one of my mates. Um, he had a need for a roof positioning system for some shotgun microphones, um, and we only had five days to get it all together, um, and this is the result. Basically, this is the remote control that um, has power in and an ethernet jack and then along a 50 meter cable this little box here which has got a safety wire and a, and a bolt for having a hook on um, has a standard microphone screw um, thread which a shotgun mic or a boom mic can be attached to this thing and basically what it's used for is for um, interpreters who are listening to people talk um, can position microphones in a crowd so that they can you know, hear them more clearly with the shotgun microphones. So basically, if I turn this this knob here, which goes 270 degrees, as you can see, so if I turn the knob, the motor turns 270 degrees, and it's full real time. Um, there is a delay, there is a speed limit, so if they turn the knob very quickly. It's not normally this noisy because it's sitting and rattling on the desk. Um, there's a speed limit um, so that microphone doesn't just flop out of the clip because it's turned too quick. Um, but this was done really, really rapidly. Um, so rapidly, in fact, that um, we use a lot of off-the-shelf components and an Arduino, um, which made it all so easy and made it uh, gave us the ability to get it to market for the customer. We ended up building 10 of them. Um, I know um, someone will be very happy. We've got Freetronics um, 11s in it, um, in all 10 of them in fact. Um, so Jonathan Oxer will be quite happy. Um, basically what we've got here is a pot with a cap on the bottom just to clean up the signal emit. It's going into the ADC pin. Um, and then I have a step and direction line that come out. Oh, it's using a stepper controller, which go to an ether jack that we've hacked um, to put 12 volts down to the motor end. So it all comes to here, uh, comes from here. Um, there's a cheapy Chinese uh, switch mode regulator. The reason why I'm using that is that, from my experience, running 12 volts into an Arduino Direct makes the thing really hot. Um, I've done several projects with them in the past in boxes or inside racks and things and you touch the box and you go, ooh, that's not going to last too long with that heat. So we opted for a switch mode power supply. So basically on the bottom of the 11, there's a 5 volt ground, nice big fat um, pads, solder pads. So solder straight onto there and then use a small switch mode, which these ones happen to have an LCD, LED um, display on them to show you the input voltage and the output voltage. Complete wank, but the thing cost like $3, so it's like, well, why not use it? Um, so anyway, it just meant we didn't have to worry about putting regulators in or dropping supply voltages or having dual supplies or whatever. Um, and it meant that the Arduino just wasn't going to get hot, and so therefore we didn't have to worry about it failing. Um, so basically, yes, so there's a ground and a, a, a step and a direction, and it goes out to the ether jack with, along with the 12 volt rail. Uh, and the pot, which is attached to a nice little plastic case. And then in this side, we have a custom built case that was powder coated and everything. Um, the, the mount for the um, on the front of the stepper motor was <laughs> pretty much custom. It's very well done. Tyson, my mate, built these um, CNC cut hockey puck um, with a slit in it, which, which, if you look in there, you can see the stepper motor shaft. Um, basically, the hose clamp just clamps down on the slit to make the um, it tight on the shaft and then a, a desk mount microphone clamp um, screw clamp um, is screwed into the puck so so basically a normal mic mounting clip um, which the boom mics that they're using actually have shock mount um, like a rubberized shock mount so it's quite a large device um, so you can't actually see the hose clamp because it's it's buried underneath the shock mount but um, to make, meet Australian standards and um, most um, Convention centers that require safety safety cable, so it has a, uh, a safety cable, a standard bolt for attaching a um, pipe clamp for attaching to lighting bars and stuff, and ether jack, which you can see there, which isn't Ethernet. <laughs> and inside here we have 
a, a uh, NEMA 17 stepper motor and uh, in the heat shrink there's an easy driver uh, which is a open source or yeah open source um, stepper motor driver easy ones Allegro nice little Allegro micro stepping drivers it can only do 750 milliamps but for these motors that's perfect and for what they're doing uh, if we had any bigger microphones it probably would have been a problem because the uh, motors aren't that strong but um, for what they're doing in this case it works quite well um, so yeah so these were these were very rapidly knocked together um, somewhat crude in some respects because of the way what they do but for what the tasks they're asked to do they work perfectly um, the customer was very happy in hindsight um, if we had more time we probably would have implemented it as a pan tilt um, for what the customer asked for because this was directly what the customer asked for and that was the whole point of the design um, the customer said we want it to pan two and seventy degrees and that's it at the time we we're thinking um, you're going to want to be able to point up and down as well but they seem to be able to have that under control and as it turns out what they asked for worked perfectly for what they wanted to do so yeah we could have implemented a whole bunch of extra work that wasn't needed so the brief was correct and what they did was correct so but in, in hindsight we probably would have used um, a pan tilt head from a camera or something to do this or maybe constructed something ourselves um, but you know given the time frame um, that's what we came up with so anyway so this was just a little thing that I knocked together um, and it's likely to be a similar sort of work that I'll be doing in my new new contract position or the yeah as a as a, a freelance software come hardware tinkerer um, so yeah so I just thought I'd let you see what I've been doing um, you can see that 12 volt power supply there which is actually quite a nice one this is extra on um, my mate that does all the installations they don't use the power supplies um, that come with a lot of the equipment so they get recycled and all sorts of things and this is actually quite a nice I like the way the IC goes in the end and it's got screw mounts so you can mount it onto a tray um, and it's quite high spec I think it's one amp, oh no this is a one amp one, there's a two amp one as well but um, they seem to be quite well made anyway um, lots of junk on my desk I'm doing other things but yeah just thought I'd give you an update thanks guys